So we're so happy. Let me let Aluma in. So we're so happy that you're here. And we will go ahead and get started with Veronica Naranjo. She's going to tell us about her time at Harper College. So can I share my screen? Yeah, I have to make you, I have to make her host, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I have, we have the cheap Zoom. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me see. Can you guys see my screen now? It's loading. Okay. Mina. Okay. Ah, you see? Okay, Mina. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so I'm from Colombia. I moved to the States in 2006, 2007. Uh, I didn't speak English at all, like zero, nada. Uh, you know, I was so happy when I found out about like Harper College, uh, you know, I started on level B uh, and then, it, you know, it was the most amazing time, like studying English, meeting new cultures, because the thing about like Colombia, we are only Colombians. So we don't really know about other cultures, like what people do, like there are different things. Let me, oh, let me admit. Uh, so when I came here and then I met all these people from all around the world, that was amazing. So as I said, I started in level B. So I went through from level B through like level five, we went, which was like reading and writing, right, Kathleen? I can't remember. But in, like, and then like in the meantime, I was looking for a job. So I got to work, you know, I got a job offered uh, to work in the language lab while I was like studying. And then after I finished ESL, I took some regular classes because I wanted to, to like get better with my English and be like merged to the culture and be able like now to practice with, you know, Americans and all of this. So it, that was great. After I did that, I felt comfortable and like confident to go to get my MBA. So I got my MBA at Roosevelt. Uh, once I finished, yeah, uh, like in 2012 is when I graduated from my MBA. Uh, in the meantime, I moved with my husband. Uh, we moved to Texas, to Dallas, because he got a job here. So we moved. And actually, Kathleen went to my graduation with me. Uh, yeah, so when I moved there. It was downtown. Uh, it was downtown, right? Yes. Yeah. It was in 2012. Mm -hmm. So when I started here, you know, like I was like, okay, now I have an MBA, like, okay, I have a study. So now I'm not like now I need to start looking for a job. And then I got a job like two months after I moved to Texas um, in HR, in human resources. I love people. I love talking to people. So I went to one of the advisors there at Harper and she was like, totally like, no, you should work on HR. And I, in HR. And I was like, oh, I think I like people. So yeah, let me go and try to find a job in HR. And actually, that's what I did, and I love it. So now I work for Southern Glazers in the department of HRIS. So it's more like the HR, but like the IT side with the systems, SAP, and all of this. And I have with, been with this company for two years. So it's like wine and like drinks. So actually, it's legal to drink at work. <laughs> now only in happy hours. Uh, so yeah, I speak Spanish and English, currently live in Dallas, uh, you know, I'm always like very positive, even though, you know, like I came here and I was like, oh, what I'm going to do with my life, you know, like I don't speak English, but I wanted to, you know, like find a job here, like do my life here. And then, but I always just take positive, I work hard, and now here I am, like 10, 12 years after. <laughs> So yeah, that's my story. Oh, and my hobbies, I put something I love like running. It's a new, I like, I found this hobby like two years ago when actually I submitted my, so you, like it's a lottery, like for the Chicago Marathon. So I submitted my application, I got in and I was like, oops, now I need to start training for that marathon. And that's how I started running. Now I love running. I love like hiking, doing activities. Yeah, outdoors, love to travel. And actually last year I had the opportunity to go to Japan and I saw one of my former uh, classmates, Marina. And then, yeah, it was a great, great experience. You know, like ESL, like Harper, it changed my life. And I will be always so grateful for this experience. 
<laughs> okay, let me ask you a question, and then if anyone else has a question, let me know. Um, do you, who are these, can you tell us about the pictures that are in your slideshow? And then you said you saw your friend from Japan. Are you still in touch with any of your other friends who you met during that time, even though it's been more than 10 years? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so, he, well, he is more like, yeah, it looks bit like, actually that's funny because when I was pulling this photo, I was like, wow, it looks very old. <laughs> <laughs> and it was from like probably 2007. So yes, uh, so this is Marina, my friend from Japan, who I visited. Yeah, and we stay in touch. Beata, she was one of my best friends too. Uh, she's oh, from yeah. Poland, and now she's a nurse. I haven't talked to her for like, probably the past two years, but we are friends on you know social media, so I can see her. Uh, Kao, yeah, Kaori, she's from Japan too. Yeah, sometimes we talk. Uh, the rest, let me see. Oh, Miki, yeah, I know her. She has now a baby, she got married, friends with her in social media. And the other ones, I guess they, they went back to their countries. Here it was one of our trips to Chicago. And actually this time we were so lucky because they were filming Transformers. Oh yeah. So, yeah to me, like, yeah, like Josh Duhamel. And that was funny because, you know, it was crazy. And at the time we were going to NBC, to the studios, to get to know like, you know, like the studios. And then we saw these people like filming a movie. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> and I, I started screaming, saying, hey, can I get a photo with you? And I was like, okay, I will ask later who this guy is. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like a super famous guy. Okay, exactly. Veronica, by the way, are you living, since you're the host, you have to let people in. Are you, have you been doing it? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought she's she's letting people in. Okay, good. Great. Okay, who would like anyone have a question for Veronica? I didn't know that Veronica was going to make like a presentation because I would have told everyone. <laughs> I, that was a surprise to me, but I did not expect anyone to make a presentation today. So <laughs> thank you, Veronica, for that. But nobody else has to make a presentation. Everyone else is just going to be talking. Okay, so don't worry about it. Um, but do you guys want to ask her any questions right now? Any questions? No. 